Ceramic Industries, 40 years of excellence. It really started in 1975 because we were at the time the retail tile importer and retailers of ceramic tiles. But there was pressure because it was very difficult at the time to get import permits and we were forced to start a manufacturing company in order, in order to sustain our retail business. It was an imperative for us to start. Ceramic Industries was born in 1975 when the Samka floor plant started as a twice-fired manufacturer of ceramic tiles. Importing the biscuit from Italy at the time, it manufactured 10,000 square meters per month compared to today's capacity of 600,000 square meters per month. In 1981, Samka Floor introduced the single firing monocotura process of clay dry milling, which changed to wet continuous milling during the early 90s. I think our major milestone was probably the start of monocotura in the very early 80s as Samka. In my view, the next big milestone was the acquisition of Better Sanitary Way in 1985. The next big milestone was the acquisition of National Ceramic Industries, followed then by the acquisition of Vitro and the expansion of Vitro, in other words, mastering the technology of an extruded product, punch. Of course, an important milestone was the Samka Wall project, which embraced the monoporosa technology. Quite a difficult technology, but the best is so far as the manufacturing of, of wall towers. And finally, the other important one was the startup of Pegasus to be able to manufacture high volume, low cost. When Better Sanitary Ware was acquired in 1985, it was producing 10,000 pieces per month. After the installation of high-pressure casting in the early 2000s, Better now produces 170,000 pieces per month, with a labor force only double that of 1985. In 1988, National Ceramic Industries, then the sole manufacturer of split, unglazed tiles was purchased. In early 2000, NCI was closed and production moved to the Vitro factory, which had been acquired in 1995. Around the same time, a further two kilns for glazed porcelain tiles were installed. Vitro is still the only manufacturer of glazed porcelain tiles in South Africa and currently produces 600,000 square meters per month using extruded flat punch technology. The Samka wall plant was built in 1989 and at the time produced 60,000 square meters of tiles per month. The monoporosa technology was adopted and today the plant produces in excess of 600,000 square meters per month. In 1992, Ceramic Industries was listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Pegasus started in the early 2000s with only one production line, which rapidly increased to four production lines with a combined capacity of 1.5 million square meters per month. 2003 saw Centaurus being established as Australia's only ceramic tile manufacturer. The factory has grown from one to two production lines, producing glazed porcelain tiles. Well, the Griffin project is something that we've been dreaming of for a few years and we kind of postponed it because we were a bit worried about the, the availability of clay and our ability to make a glazed portion in South Africa. I think what it means to us and why is it necessary is that we're going to a completely different technology that we do have to explore and we do have to manufacture in this country in order to ensure that will remain relevant and competitive as well as fashionable. 2015 will see the launch of the Griffin plant in South Africa that will manufacture white-bodied glazed porcelain tiles. A second production line will launch in September 2016 to boost total production to 8.5 million square meters per year. 
Ceramic Industries is now the 22nd largest tile and sanitary wear manufacturer worldwide. We are unique because we are one of only a few global companies that manufacture such a wide variety of products. From white and red bodied ceramic wall and floor tiles to acrylic bathroom and sanitary wear. By the end of 2016, we will manufacture 2 million pieces of sanitary wear per year. We will also produce 50 million square meters of tiles per year and counting. In my view, mm. is the people. That's what is the driving force with we are ceramic industries. The passion, the determination, the ingenuity of our people to want to build a successful company, to want to build a successful company in a very difficult manufacturing business. People that enjoy the challenges on a daily basis and they don't want to give up. I think that's what our success is all about. At Ceramic Industries, our focus remains on quality, customer service, making beautiful tiles and bathroom wear, and remaining competitive and relevant.